Everything in my life that's good about my music and good about me as a man, I can trace directly to Harvey Phillips. He was a, a great, great soul. And just to be around him, to literally bathe in his energy, to be part of his sphere of influence, was the greatest privilege of my life. And uh, it's something that guides everything that I do still today, 40 years later. Arby gave the tuba class and integrity. His influence to the rest of the brass instruments was second to none. Much of what we have today as musicians, and especially as tuba players, such as solo repertoire, chamber music, symposiums, notoriety, and job opportunities is due to the efforts of Harvey Phillips. He is, in my opinion, the most important brass instrument entrepreneur of his time. For without his inspiration, guidance, and teaching, and tireless promotion of his instruments, the tuba, most of us would be out of a job. Throughout his professional life, Harvey was a dedicated teacher and mentor. He taught and inspired several generations of teachers and performers that hold the most prestigious positions in music throughout the world. And always proud of his students, achievements he heartily shared in their triumphs and successes. Harvey enjoyed having them as part of his family and gave his counsel as a father figure he was. He encouraged students to embrace all music and educated them that music is the language with many dialects. He was an international music musical ambassador. I could easily spend up here for a long time talking about Harvey Phillips because he was certainly my major mentor, along with Mr. Bill Bell, who was my tuba teacher here at Indiana University starting in 1964. I recently wrote somewhere that meeting Harvey Phillips for the first time is like stepping into the middle of a tornado. You either go along for the ride or get ripped to pieces. Fortunately for me, when I first met Harvey over 45 years ago, we were both headed in the same direction, so I was more than delighted to go along for the ride. Harvey Phillips single-handedly, and with support from many, many of his colleagues and friends, dominated what he referred to as the tuba renaissance of the second half of the 20th century. There were a number of other major tuba artists making significant contributions throughout this time period, but no single individual had the capacity to lead the effort to the extent that Harvey could do. Uh, Harvey Phillips took no prisoners in his borderline obsession to improve the lot for his fellow tubists. And he was willing to do whatever it took to bring a project to a successful conclusion. He told me one time, jokingly perhaps, as I complained about the lack of cooperation in getting a job done, that you can't ask an artist to lick stamps. I never felt bad about having to lick stamps after that, as I know that Harvey did whatever it took to make things happen. No prima donnas allowed in the tuba workroom. There's serious work to be done, and if you have a problem with that, stay home. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of people around the entire globe who feel the same way about Harvey as I do. You've seen that demonstrated today. He made everyone feel special, and he was always interested in what you were doing. I can tell you from endless hours of personal observation that Harvey was never motivated by ego. His goals were way too sophisticated to be designed to elevate any one person's self-esteem. His objective was to do everything he possibly could to create opportunities for the tuba and the tubists. And beyond all of his incredible professional accomplishments, who very few individuals could ever dream of matching, his love of and dedication to his family ultimately defines the wonderful human being that he was. Lucky Harvey, he had his cake, he ate it, and he deserved it. We're here to celebrate Harvey Phillips, yeah. who was our guru in every way, shape, and form. Yeah. I, I mean, the things that we have achieved in our lives in many ways were spurred by Harvey Phillips. You know, he said, you should try this, you should try this, you should try that. And uh, of course, we pass that on to our students. And uh, But uh, he was a key figure, and I don't know, you know, there'll never be anyone of, no. of, of his stature, yeah. uh, well, he, that, a singular stature. He came at the right time, too, though. 
You know what I mean? I mean, at the right time with the big ideas. I mean, and, and, and that's the way everything always happens. You know, you, you take an opportunity, you run with it. You know, yeah. you fail a little bit, you decide, hey, listen, how, how we play the two bus? You know, I know what not to do. You know, I, that's that's what happens after a while. Yeah, that didn't work, and you know, young people don't know <coughs> some of the things that guys like Bill Bell and Harvey Phillips and uh, Jake did and stuff. Would never, I didn't know that either. We didn't know it. We didn't have records, and we didn't have uh, excerpt books and all the other things that are that are available to young people today, but. Anyone knows that has heard the legacy thing of Harvey that in the 50s he was playing technical things that it was another 40 years before the rest of the people were. I will tell you that this first arrangement of the famous Bach uh, suite on the air, air on the G string was the only arrangement that Harvey ever did for the multiple tubers. So we are honored to be able to perform this piece for you today. heard about Harvey Phillips from my teacher Dave Berguner who had studied with Bill Bell and he was uh, telling me about uh, Harvey and this new organization called TUBA. So uh, I joined I guess in 73, 74, something like that and uh, went up to New York for uh, the, the Tuba Christmas in the Rockefeller Center in 75 and met Harvey and uh, about six months later, I was in Chicago and I heard the tuba jazz group play in uh, Rick's Cafe and went up to Harvey and he remembered me. He remembered my name. He remembered uh, where I went to school and I was absolutely blown away. And uh, uh, We got together and, and put together the uh, tuba source book and uh, Harvey was instrumental in getting that published. Um, Harvey's really been there. He's been my godfather, my uh, inspiration, my brother. Um, throughout many, many years and he will be missed.